Hello. As you probably know, a sad thing has happened this week. Noel Gordon has died. She was actress, singer, TV personality. She pioneered commercial television in this country with the first chat show, Lunchbox. But most of all, she'll be remembered for her two decades as star of the soap opera Crossroads. In 1978, I was lucky enough to do a programme with her, an audience show with some of the sternest press critics of Crossroads in the audience to do battle. As you'll see, she holds her own. Noel Gordon was a grand lady, highly professional, an old style trooper. She was also kind. She encouraged me and a lot of others when we were first starting in television. When we recorded the programme you're about to see, there was one incident I remember as typical. The blue dresses we were wearing looked too much alike and the producer thought that one of us ought to change. Well, of course, I was junior to her and so I should have been the one to change. But she said, don't worry about it, I'll change. And she did. A silly little incident, maybe. But that's the sort of generous gesture I'll remember her for. Anyway, we thought you'd like to see the programme again. In it, we see Nolly in 1978, the height of her career, when she was happiest. It's not an obituary, more a celebration of one woman's success. We just called it Nolly. arrived at the studio. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome. Thank you very much for joining us tonight. Thank you for asking me. Now, I want to ask some of the questions I've had in mind to ask you ever since I've known you. I've been working here one or two years, we won't mention how long. Um, can I call you Nolly? Is that all right? Oh, please do. Everybody does. Right. Well, I'm professional. Uh, you see, this is another thing I take issue with. I think the one thing that you cannot accuse us of being on crossroads is unprofessional because if you are not a true professional you can't last in our program uh, I quite agree with you that we perhaps have not but sufficient rehearsal time uh, that perhaps some of our actors until they get more into the flow of the program it's a terrifying business to be in crossroads and I think generally speaking the standard is tremendously high on our program. And so many of you critics, if you don't mind me saying so, talk about bizarre incidents in the program. But then so many of our storylines have in fact actually happened in real life to different members of the cast. Mm. And I think that is the one thing because everybody slams crossroads, everybody knocks us. We are not trying to be player of the month. If some of you critics would do us the honour, as we invited Nancy Banksmith to come to the studio and see the schedule that we maintain, and I think if you, bless you, uh, you ladies and gentlemen of the press, if you would come and stay with us for a week and just see what it takes to put on four programmes a week, then I think you would be perhaps not kinder to us but a little more understanding of the pressure that we work under. Well, I must say that, um, perhaps it's sacrilegious to say, it, to say so, but I think the, the mob up the road and the rover's return is, is uh, rather more hard-edged in, in professional terms. But they only do two episodes a week, honey. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't you feel, wouldn't you prefer, though, to have the quality that they achieve and do t just two episodes no, instead of I four? No, I would leave Crossroads. Why? Because then it wouldn't be a soap opera, my but, love. But Coronation oh. Street is... A soap a opera should be on every night of the week. Never. Never. It was a great disappointment to me when we were taken off on Monday nights. <laughs> you say it should be on every night of the week. What do you mean? What role do you see for it then, as a soap opera? Well, I'd like to see it on every night, like it used to be. Why? Because that is what a soap opera... All the American soaps are on five nights a week. Because what need do you see that you fulfil by going out of the Because night? it's a continuity. I mean, if you have actors and actresses, and they come on and they give abysmal performances, because nobody has 
any kind of experience, certainly not in this country, of working on a program like Crossroads. Because until you have worked on it as an actor, nobody has any idea of the pressures. And conversely, let me say this, madam, uh, it's incredible how many good performances you get on Crossroads. And then you will go and see that same person in the theatre, and they're abysmal. So it works two ways. Yes, but surely you're doing no service whatsoever to those actors or to the programme. Because dear, the programme dear, won't progress if dear, the format we stays don't, the We same. don't go up with a gun and make actors come into Crossroads. They come into it of their own free will. Although, mind you, if you read what some of them say in some of the newspapers after they leave it, you would really think we, we went out with whips and whipped them in. Uh, every actor who comes into Crossroads knows exactly what the deal is. He knows the limitation of time. He knows the speed that we work at. And when he comes into it, if he doesn't like it or can't keep up with it, and believe me, we've had some smashing people come in. And at the end of a fortnight, people with a lot of television experience, they've just said, look, I'm sorry, we cannot keep up this pace. You'll have to write us up. Then I take my hat off you for 14 to you for 14 I years. I think so. I, I, I agree with you. The lady on the third row there is, is shouting to get in. Mrs Handley in the yes. third row corner. Miss Fiona, I've watched Miss Gordon from the early days of Lunchbox. And she, to me, is the kingpin of Crossroads. She's always done her best. And I think for people to criticise her, it doesn't seem fair. I mean, look at the time she spent in prison. <laughs> but she wasn't really a no, was she? No, she was She did a crime and she paid for it. Well, you have suffered for us all, Molly, haven't you? And um, there's another thing about it, love. If they'd all got as big a heart as Nally Gordon, they wouldn't hurt. Uh, well, I do agree. We'd like to ask you just one last question. You've had a life-consuming job in Crossroads. <laughs> You've made sacrifices, you've lost a lot perhaps in your private life. Looking back, was it all worth it? Worth every minute of it, because Crossroads gives me more opportunity to act than any other actress has had in the history of the theatre. And some people say we do it badly, some people we say we do it very well, some people say we're unprofessional. The main thing that matters to me is that the public enjoy Crossroads, and I enjoy doing it. And the moment I stop enjoy doing it, then I won't do it anymore. But you'd do it all again? Every minute of it. I'd like to go back to the first programme, yes. All right, well, we've got to leave it there. With many thanks to Noel Gordon, who I think we all agree is a totally professional lady, and to our audience from Format 5, good night. Gordon won many awards for her work. She was eight times top female personality in the TV Times poll, but she was happiest perhaps in the company of the viewers who were loyal to her from the very first early days. The lonely, the old, who made Meg Mortimer of Crossroads their best friend. Noel Gordon was television, and to us who worked with her, she was always just nonny. <laughs>